So today guys we take a look at yet another and the final one for me to cover in regards to what this is and that is the third Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC Jacob Sniper. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you guys enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So this weapon I will refer to as the CB just because I know how YouTube works nowadays. So this is the third Jacob Sniper that landed with this DLC. We have the Unseen Threat and the School Masher. And we also have the CB. I covered the other two which are outstanding snipers but have I saved the best till last? Well let's get that out of the way straight away people. I'd say no. No I haven't. So this CB is a weapon which I do believe is exclusive to Portal Chess upon Xylargus and I do have a great farm for you guys if after watching this video you do feel this is a weapon you do indeed want to farm. Now in regards to me not saving the best Jacob Sniper to review last doesn't actually mean that this is indeed a bad weapon. Not by any means. What I would say is this isn't the worst but it isn't the best at the same time. I'd place this between the two. The Unseen Threat being the best, then this, then the School Masher. The Unseen Threat and the School Masher though are both in my opinion top tier snipers, and in reality, this is two. So the CB, although I wouldn't use this over the Unseen Threat, I would take it and use it over the School Masher. As I said in my review on that weapon, yes by far it's the most powerful sniper out of three, but most efficient in laying down that damage I'd say no, not at all. And unless you are after a particular powerhouse for a particular build which maybe concentrates and makes the most out of crit damage and ammo regen, then this school masher isn't all that great. So yes, as a casual reminder, just because a weapon deals a heck load of damage, it doesn't make it the best. Now this CB is actually the least powerful on paper out of the three, but it makes up for that by having a great magazine size, decent fire rate and not too bad of a reload speed too. And it's part of the trick is, every crit shot doubles up that damage as shot damage. So if you hit a shot that does 40k to that cranium, you get an additional 40k damage as shock. If you have an anointment like the one I have here, that combined damage of 80k doesn't as you would imagine though, double up. All that we indeed do double up on is the initial damage and not that shot damage, which is a little disappointing. And I guess it's the same for many anointments damage wise on this weapon. Now you can see on screen now what this thing is capable of, in reality this build I'm using right here isn't by any means set up to assist snipers as well as it could indeed be and you can see it's still a beast of a weapon. So yes the CB is a very very good sniper for sure and I do suggest you do indeed try and get your hands on it and get your hands on that perfect one for your build. But here is the annoying part, to farm this thing and that's because it's quite rare. As this thing I do believe is exclusive to those new portal chests you can find across the Ilargos. Lucky for you guys though, I do have a great farm you can use to try and land this beast. So upon Xylargos, head into Cursehaven and load into the Withernut Cemetery. Then follow the route I take, just a short path indeed to this port chest in which you can farm for this thing. Open it up, check that loot, if you're unlucky, quit out and load back in. Be careful though, because sometimes you'll open this chest up and a loot Scritari will spawn. He drops decent loot too and indeed could drop this CB, I ain't sure if that's confirmed though. But yeah guys, this is how you farm the CB if it's a weapon that interests you. So yes, my force on the CB is a very very good weapon, a very very decent sniper, one I recommend you at least check out and see how it plays and feels within your build. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.